Hello everybody. This week's camera is the Olympus OM-1N. It was made from 1979 to 1987. It was uh, another design team led by Yoshihisa Maitani, same guy that did the Olympus XA series, uh, the Stylus series, and the Olympus Pen. Not too much changed from the uh, MD version to the N. Uh, it has a flash-ready LED in the viewfinder. They redesigned the film advance lever, and it does X-Sync with a, an Olympus T-Series flash. It's a manual everything camera. It has a match needle meter in the viewfinder. Turn it off and on using this switch. It took the Mercury 1.35 volt batteries. You can use the silver oxide 1.4 and the, and the meter's pretty accurate. The shutter is not this dial. This is the film speed dial, which I have screwed up and shot a roll at the wrong speed because I forgot to set it. The shutter goes from one second to one one thousandth of a second plus bulb. It's a little bit of an unusual layout. Um, the aperture ring is out front, then the focus ring, and then the shutter value is on the body right behind the uh, lens mount. There's so a few other things where Olympus kind of went their own way. The hot shoe is an accessory, screws into the top of the pentaprism. One nice thing about the OM-1, all the variants of it, this lever right here, it does mirror lockup. So it's still a popular camera for astrophotography. This, there's not a button on the bottom. This little lever uh, sets it to film rewind, disengages the advance, and then you can spin it. Like most cameras, you pop up the rewind lever to open the back. It's a pretty sweet uh, 50 millimeter lens on it. I got a 35 millimeter f2.8. Let's see if I can get it out of my pocket here. Picked this up at Goodwill. It's missing the rubber grip on the focus ring, but other than that, it works great. It's a sweet little wide angle lens. Another place where they uh, kind of deviated uh, from traditional SLR design the depth of field button is on each lens rather than the camera body. I've got some weird film in it. It's just labeled Made in EU ISO 400 C41. It says it's 27 exposures. Then a little sticker says that it's uh, 12 exposures. So I think it's some kind of weird re-spooled stuff. Hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. So I'll finish out that roll and I'll see you then.